Features of LMO Merchant tab. This is the login page wherein merchant has to enter the registered mobile number and the password. After clicking on sign in, this is the uh, login interface. At the right, uh, top right corner, customer will be able to find the scan icon wherein they can uh, scan the offers using the scanner. The next option would be the notifications icon wherein they can track their latest and the previous notifications. And these are the few offers which would be displayed uh, to the merchants on the merchant app. The option or uh, the next option would be the refer option wherein merchants can refer customers as well as the merchants using this tab. The next option would be the share option wherein they can share their cashback and the coupons which they have created. In the barcode option, a uh, customer can share the shop barcode with their customers. And customers can directly scan this and find them on the LMO customer app. In the live customer section, uh, customer can view the live customers who are browsing uh, the show. In the sales section, they'll be able to uh, track the sales, number of sales, and the number of unique customers. In order statistics, uh, they'll be able to find the pending, ongoing, and the delivered orders. The next option uh, uh, would be customer statistics uh, wherein they can uh, track uh, the customer data, how many people view their shop and uh, the prime users. In generated offers, if the customer is uh, subscribed to the merchant, or, uh, merchant application, they will be able to uh, create their own offers and the coupons over here and they will be able to see the activated coupons the next option uh, would be orders wherein customer can track their payment history and uh, the total amount uh, generated for the completion of the transactions uh, the commission which would uh, be paid by the merchant for the order and the amount paid to the customer and the balance amount and these are uh, the previous uh, transactions uh, in progress, customer can view the progress uh, ongoing orders. In order history, customer would be able to see the previous orders, rejected, completed, as well as the cancel orders. The next option would be the inventory option, wherein a uh, customer can add the category. After adding the category, they will be able to uh, see the added category options over here, wherein uh, they can uh, customize from there in. After adding the category, they can add uh, the uh, inventory wherein they have to select their category and the item name, brand, description. If they are selling it in the multiple colors, they can uh, select the color option over here. They have to select the size and the selling price if they want to apply any discount. Add more sizes here. Uh, they can add uh, multiple sizes if the product is available in multiple sizes. In upload uh, option, they can upload the image, item image. After clicking on save changes, the uh, inventory would be added uh, to the shop. In the profile section, customer uh, would be able to. Uh, see the profile settings wherein uh, they can customize their contact number, name, address. In the KYC document options, they can upload uh, their KYC documents. In shop image, customer can delete the old images and upload uh, the new shop images. In the doorbusters option, they'll be able to add uh, the doorbusters offers when it's enabled every month. Uh, the next option would be the generate offers wherein if a merchant is subscribed to the merchant uh, application subscription, they can create their own offers and the coupons for the customers. Preview offers as uh, they can uh, check with the ongoing offers and the active offers they have activated. My subscription here, yeah, the customer would be able to uh, subscribe for the merchant application. You have to uh, click on pay and uh, they can pay using multiple options. In service transaction, uh, here uh, again they can uh, view their transaction history and the amount 
uh, here customer can uh, delete the old bank account and add the new bank account here uh, they'll be able to find the FAQs if they are unable to uh, the FAQs are unable to resolve the issue they can directly contact on the mentioned number and the email address about LMO they here uh, they can find few documents about uh, the policies merchant agreement privacy statement terms of use as well as they can uh, go to our social media platforms and here they can rate us on uh, the google play the next option would be uh, the change password they wherein they can customize their uh, password and enter the new one the next option are uh, the big close shop temporarily here a uh, customer can close uh, the shop temporarily if they are unable for a few days the next option here they can uh, sign out from the application